Welcome back. Snipping Tool gets a major update with Windows 11 latest release. In addition to capturing the screenshots, the tool can now record your screen. In today's video, I will demonstrate how to use the tool to record your screen. What are the pros and cons of using that tool? How can you update so you can record your screen? So without a further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, this channel is all about educational tools, tips, and technology. So if you don't want to miss out on all the fun, please make sure you subscribe. So here I'm on my desktop. I'm going to go ahead, open up my snipping tool. I'm going to click on my start option, type in snipping tool here, and here is my tool. And once you open it, you will see this record option right here. But if you don't have the tool or the record option, let's click on the start menu. Let's go ahead and click on Microsoft Store. And once I am in the store, let's click on Apps and let's type in Snipping Tool. And the first thing that you see with the scissors cutting off is the tool that I'm talking about. And again, if you don't have this tool, you will go ahead and download it. But if you have it and you don't have that record option or the record button, you will go ahead and update your tool. Mine is already updated. So once you update it, you will go ahead, close and reopen your tool and you will see this little record icon here. Let me quickly go ahead and show you what version I am using. I am using snipping tool 11.2302.40. So that's the version I'm using. So let's go back here. And once you open it, all you have to do is simply click on record option. So let me go ahead and open up my PDF document in edge browser i'm going to bring it right here i'm going to go ahead and open it you know what let me minimize it just a little bit so i can write on it and record using my snipping tool so once my snipping tool is right here when you click on this camera option that means you are taking a screenshot when you click on the record options that means you're recording so once i click record once i click on my record button i click on new and it gives me an option to select the window. So let me go ahead and select this window here. Once I selected the window, I'm gonna click start and I'm going to use my pen to scribble. Of course, it's gonna give me a countdown. Once the countdown is done, I'm going to use my pen to scribble around just for a couple of seconds so you can see. And I'm going to go back to the draw option and draw again. And once I'm done, I'm going to click on this red button to stop recording. And if you have to pause, you will click on this pause option. Or if you want to completely stop your recording, you're going to click on stop recording. Once the recording has stopped, let me minimize the window in the back. Once the recording has stopped, you cannot edit the recording like you can edit your screen captures in your snipping tool. As you can see, all those tools have been disabled. All I can do is save it copy it or share it. So let me go ahead and save it here. It's gonna ask me where I wanna save. I'm going to choose my desktop and I'm going to click save. And this has been saved as an MP4 file. So now let's go ahead and play the recording. As you can see, the screen has been completely recorded. I have an option to select what screen I want, but do you know what the flaw is? I cannot record my audio. So I think this is still in the infancy stage of developing. This could be good for people who make um, GIFs, GIFs or memes. Or maybe if I want to record something really quick and send it to my students and then have a voiceover. And if you don't want to download a lot of software, recording software like OBS or Camtasia, but you want to have something that's already inbuilt in your system, that will not take up your system space. Maybe this is a good idea to do that. So again, the record option does not have audio, just quick video. And if you want to go ahead and update it, click on your Microsoft Store, click on your snipping tool and simply update it. So that is snipping tool from Windows 11 for you. I hope you enjoy this session. I hope you learn how to record your screen with snipping tool without audio. If you did, please make sure you like and subscribe. And if you think it's worth sharing and if you think there are educators who will benefit from this free tool, please make sure you share this to them. I will leave a link in the description box below for Microsoft Teams, Technology, Canvas and PowerPoint playlist. Do not forget to check them out and leave a comment in the comment section below. What tool do you use to record your screen? Like always, happy teaching and please take care of yourself.